rejoice in the fact that you had your windows down. Yeah. You know. Yeah. In I Wisconsin. mean, it was really that first real nice day yeah. of this uh, late winter, getting close to early spring, officially mm -hmm. starting tomorrow. But, you know, 40s and sunshine feels pretty good. It sure does. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, yep. sir. Time now for our hometown hero. And this week's hometown hero, Jack Voigt. Hails from a small farm right here in our area. Throughout his life, he has overcome a lot of setbacks that include the draft. Here's Local 5's Caitlin Corbett. He got to take his passion for broadcast and communication overseas in the Army. This week's hometown hero, Jack Voigt, kept that passion for communicating with him his entire life and turned it into something much bigger. Once I got drafted, I will make the best of things, and that's what I did. Making the best of any situation is what Jack Voigt has always done. Voigt has been on his own since he was just 15 when his family lost their Shyocton farm. He put himself through college at UW Oshkosh, but felt just short of earning his broadcast degree when the papers came for Vietnam. I needed another semester to graduate, but the draft got me because of the fact that I had already four years of schooling in. And my deferment ran out, and therefore I was drafted in August 68. His deferment ran out, but his luck didn't. Voigt was drafted into the Army, where he got to dive back into his passion for broadcast and communication in radio school. I was, I think, rather fortunate that I was one of four of a thousand guys in basic training to get radio school. And so I, I really appreciate the fact that they uh, were selected along with three other guys to go to Fort Knox at that time. Voigt served close to nine months with the 25th Infantry Division in Kuchi, Vietnam, where he was an FM secured radio sergeant in charge of 16 men. He was released early to finish his broadcast degree. Throughout his time in Vietnam and through his life today, Voigt continues to value the power of communication and camaraderie. I enjoyed other people, but communicating is rather an art in itself. You got to listen, learn, then lead, and not do not leave before you listen, and that's important. For Voight, it all goes back to that need to communicate. It started as just an idea back in 2017, and now it's turned into this, Vets and Friends in Appleton. It's a coffee house where veterans can do just that, communicate. And they create their own little network, and they socialize. It really helps them become um, more of themselves, and as opposed to being isolated in the world. Just sitting down at a meal and listening to their story and enjoying each other's company. For Voight, seeing those transitions amongst his fellow veterans is all that he needs to keep paying it forward. That slice of my life is somewhat sacred in a way, yet is also a motivating factor for me what I'm, I've done in the past number of years of my lifetime. Uh, because when I, got, when I left Vietnam and kissed the ground, I said, I am going to help out people. So I've been rather fortunate, rather fortunate, really fortunate to where I am today, and I'm going to give back. And so that's my intent, and it has, has happened that way. And we thank you for your service, Jack. And he says that Vets and Friends has grown to almost 500 veterans since it started, and he hopes to see it grow even more in the future. Don't forget, if you know someone who you'd like to nominate for our Hometown Heroes segment, just send an email to WFRV, hometownheroes at wearegreenbay.com. For Local 5 News, I'm Caitlin Corbett. Caitlin, thank you. Still ahead, our critic at